What's up guys, Barry again here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on one of John's servers. I think this one's like server 995, it's one of his newer ones. You guys have seen me jump on his accounts a ton to do cores, soul awakenings, and everything. Well, we are on his newest account, 995 here. We have our first Transcendence Hero, Vesa, which honestly I think is a really good idea. We have a Freya built, which is going to be most likely the second Transcendence Hero that is built on this account, which again, I kind of like that idea. <clears throat> So what we're going to do is we're going to do some things to focus on Sealands. Uh, it kind of feels bad that this is somehow still 14 of 13. And I think that's just because, you know, we have a lack of actual heroes that can clear stuff, I think. Granted, I'm sure Freya could probably do a good shot. Like, I feel like Freya would have a good chance here. Right? I mean, I feel like that's, that's got to be something Freya can do. Maybe she's too weak in this form. Basic Freya is not that good of a hero. Really isn't. So I guess it doesn't surprise me. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be focusing heavily on forest heroes on this account to get even more forest progression. We're going to be making householders. So we're going to need to build a floor on this account. Uh, that Freya will most likely disappear eventually. So we might need to build a second Freya. Uh, but I think what the best goal here would be is, I mean, Flora is important to get her a better householder. And technically, you can use Flora. I think a second panda is going to be the first build. So I think the line on this account is build the second panda. So you get your double panda setup. You can even build a third panda and do triple panda setup. And then focus on working towards this Olivia, which we already have two V4 heroes, which is cool. Uh, we are a ways off on Crystals of Transcendence. I feel like that's like 600 cores away or something like that, if it's just purely from cores. I think going for something like Olivia's down the road is going to be the answer, because you pretty much want two Pandas, two Olivia's to get up to like Sea Lane 28. Granted, this is a much weaker account overall. Uh, it has tons of food, though. It can do a lot of stuff as far as the Forest Faction goes. We already have two Olivia's. We have a Flora. We have some Hero Chests. Oh, man. Somebody went in on these chests just like I did, too. <laughs> uh, we even have the VIP Skin Chest chilling down here that keeps updating. So that's really cool. Tons of food. So food's not an issue. Artifacts don't really seem like they're an issue either. Flags are uh, piling up. Uh, so, who are we going to go for in Gate of the Void? Because we have, what, 106 of these cores to do. I think going for the second panda is a smart idea. And then let's check the light and dark side of things. Dark, yeah, and Amun-Ra would be cool. The Faith Blade, he can probably get Sea Lane 20 done. He's going to need a bit of help, though. Uh, but I think... I think Panda's a good spot to go in. So we're going to do, of course, we're doing these cores in Fate. Now, <laughs> you guys know my idea. Fate is, is the gambling addict's, like, wet dream, I feel like. Even more so than, like, Soul Awakening. I don't know. Soul Awakening's are up there. But 106 divided by 15. So we need to come away with seven or more spheres to beat out what our luck would be on guidance so please give us what we need here we're all in on forest heroes now it looks like he's already done the uh the alien flower so we don't get spoiled on what's getting we've already hit an almond raw and one core so that's really good the one core is good we need seven that's really bad there is a garuda and maybe Build Garuda to finish Sea Land. Either that or just overpower it with all your heroes before then. That's that's the most reasonable solution. Two spheres. Okay, we're up to two. I'm gonna keep the design going. I'm feeling good. Nope, I'm gonna dip back down, go back up. We got a panda. That's okay, but still only two spheres. We need five more in 66. That does not feel good. Oh, that's why I hate fate, guys. I really hate fate, but it's like the gambling attic. Oh my god. Don't tell me this is going to be our worst 100 we've ever done. All right, we got to mix this up. Come on. Give us some luck here. Oh, we got two heroes but no spheres. Oh, 
<laughs> we have two in 70. Oh my God. We need like a five bomb. Like we literally need five spheres to pop up here. Um. Okay, we got a third one. Oh God, man, John, I'm so sorry, man. Usually we have better luck than this. Oh my, that was like six pulls that had absolutely nothing on here. <laughs> this is why you don't do fate, guys. It's just not worth it in the long run. The amount of people I see that actually high roll is so minimal. Most people just barely get by with like getting the average, if that. Three, three in 106. That is insane. We did get some panda copies. We got two, which puts us at two, which means how many copies do we have here? I imagine pandas are in here, right? Yeah, pandas are old enough that they're there. That's four, actually that's it. Four, maybe this one. Nope, this one's one of the old chests. We're up to six pandas. I mean, two pandas is pretty solid overall. Almond Raws, we got like what? Two, two Almond Raws, two pandas. Freaking three spheres. All right, that's, that's not great. So here's my recommendation to John, just to kind of reiterate. I would most likely build a second panda. Sadly, this Freya, I mean, keep the Freya until you actually get a C lane 20 done because maybe she can help support your team out here. Like maybe. As far as your artifact situation goes, we got Demon Bells, we got Crown. Honestly, you know, with Crowns and Demon Bells and Punisher staff, you probably could clear it out. It's weird to see go from like accounts like earlier today with our six Transcendence Heroes and then going back to like earlier, I'd say mid-game accounts that have like multiple Transcendence. This is kind of leaning towards the late game, but the fact that Eloise get supported by Vesa and then soon to be Freya is like a really good strategy for early game accounts. I think honestly just focusing like so much into the force faction nowadays is a really good plan. You could honestly make a force meme team and do be pretty successful with building like one of every faction just to get the sea land twenties done, which a lot of them are done. It's just light and dark really that need the help and dark needs those baby almond Ross. Honestly, if you V4 this Drake, put the crown on him, and put a bunch of baby almond rods with them and a carry. There's always a chance. It could work. So, John, I'm so sorry, man. I feel so bad. Never do fate. Just, just don't do it.